Hey guys, today's video is going to be a bit different because today we are going to talk about a company named as Neuralink. Neuralink is a US based company and founded by Elon Musk. So the people who don't know who he is, he is the founder and CEO of Tesla and SpaceX which are the most innovative companies at our time. So the main reason is that Neuralink is to connect human brains with computers. Yeah, you heard me correct. He want to connect human brains with computers. The reason Neuralink want to connect human brain with computers is the computers spent at a time are so fast and decent, we are which we are not even using them to their full potential. So, for example, you are an artist and you want to draw a sketch. There are two ways to do it. Either take a pencil and draw it on white paper or draw it using a stylus with the iPad or a service tablet. But the time taken for the both the process is like three to four hours and sometimes it doesn't even turn out to be great. So, if your brain is connected directly to your computer, even if you think about the picture on your mind, it will transfer to the computer directly like a airdrop or shell. So, this, this is what Neuralink is trying to do by, com by combining both the human power with computer processing unit. So, we can decrease the lag or difference between the output and input between our process. On last Sunday, Elon Musk introduced this. This is called as Link. B0.9 and it's a transplant or chip which will be placed inside our brain. Yes, you heard me correct. You want to place this inside our brain like this. Even before telling you how this chip actually works, you need to understand our brain and how it actually works. So, our brain consists of millions and millions of neurons which are together connected inside our brain like a mess. And these neurons exchange information with each other in the form of electrical pulses or signals. And these signals are the region which our body moves in whichever manner you want. So, if I want to move my hand from point A to point B, my brain needs to send signal to my hand muscles saying that it wants to move my muscles from this point to this point. This ship all link V0.9, it actually tries to read our brain signals in real time and even try to copy them. So this ship will be really useful for the people who suffer from paralysis or any blindness or any other disease in which they cannot move their body. So this ship comes between the body and our brain and it tries to recreate the signals by which the person can move their body even they are suffering from any kind of illness in, in which they cannot move their body parts. Now coming to the question which all of you are thinking, how this ship will be placed inside our brain. So it is a one hour operation which is done using this robot which is especially made for doing this kind of operations and we do not need any anesthesia during this operation. And it can be discharged within a day. So it's like booking appointment on Sunday morning and getting up and getting chip placed inside our brain and going to home on Sunday evening. Now, coming to the specs of link, so it consists of 1024 channel links, 6 axis IMU, temperature and pressure sensors, megabit wireless data rate, post compression and all day battery life and it can be charged wirelessly so there is no need of any wire. We launched with a demo of 3 live pigs and the first one you see is a normal pig without any implant. So what we have in pen number one is Joyce. Uh, and she does not have an implant. So here's Dorothy, um, and in the case of Dorothy, um, Dorothy used to have an implant, and then we removed the implant. So this is uh, an, a very important thing to uh, demonstrate, is reversibility. So if you, if you have a neural link, and then you decide you don't want it, or you want to get an upgrade, and the neural link is removed, um, is it removed in such a way that you are still healthy and happy afterwards? And what Do Dorothy illustrates is that you can Put in the neural link, remove it, and be healthy, happy, and indistinguishable from a normal pig. This is a, this is a high energy pig. Um, all right, Gertrude, thanks for coming out. Um, so, what you're, the, the beeps you're hearing are real time signals from the neural link in Gertrude's head. So, this neural link connects to neurons that are uh, in her snout. So, whenever she snuffles around and touches something with her snout, the, that sends out uh, neural spikes, which are detected here. Um, and so on the screen, um, you can see uh, each, each of the, the spikes from the 1,024 electrodes. And, and then if, you, if she, yeah, she snuffles around, touches this out in the ground, or you kind of feed her some food, pigs love food, um, then uh, you, you can see the neurons um, will fire much more than when you're not touching this now. And uh, that's what's making the, the beeping sound. 
He also showed the link predicting the peak movements by reading the signals in real time. Cool. <laughs> Um, it's a funny, funny concept, really. Um, and we uh, take the, the readings from the neurons, and we try to predict the posi position of the joints. Um, and so we say we have the predicted position of the joints, and then we, we measure the actual position of the joints. You can see that they're almost exactly aligned. So we're able, with um, a wireless neural, imp neural implant, to actually predict the position of, of all of the limbs uh, in the pig's body uh, with, with very high accuracy. The head surgeon of Euroling said that they got FDA approval of device breakthrough technology and they are going to start human trials very soon. Elon said this at the end of presentation. I think uh, in the future you will be able to save and re replay memories. Um, I mean, this is obviously sounding increasingly like a Black Mirror episode, um, but uh, well, I guess they're pretty good at predicting. Um, but yeah, essentially, if, if you have a whole brain interface, everything that's encoded in memory, you could uh, you could upload. You could basically store your memories um, as a backup and restore the memories. Um, and ultimately, you could potentially download them into a new body or into a robot body. The future is going to be weird. The link can be used to treat a lot of diseases which medical sense do not have any treatment but guys we are not going to turn into Terminator or Iron Man very soon. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Please do like, share and subscribe my channel for latest tech videos.